What's up Blenderheads? In this quick tip, I'll show you how to create this effect. First, we need to have the image as plain side on enable, so let's make sure we got that cover. And now we can import an image like this. Let's also add a camera and position it properly. I also like to set the pass part 2 to 1 to focus on what's visible. Now, we want all the slices to have the same animation, so let's start by animating the whole thing first. For this one, I'd like it to come from below like this. So go to frame 30 and keyframe the location. Then move back to frame 0, move it down and add another keyframe. Alright, let's go to the graph editor and make it slide a little nicer. We're not animating the X and Y axis so we can get rid of them. Now, select the first keyframe, then go to the end panel and select cubic interpolation and ease out. Now, this is important. Before we cut the image, we need to go to the NLA editor and convert this animation into a track. This will make it super easy to offset the effect later on. Now we're ready to slice Kodo. Let's go into edit mode and do 9 loop cuts to get 10 segments. You can use the tool or just press Ctrl R. For the next part, make sure you have all the edges selected. Then right click and select Edge Split. Then right click again and select Separate by Loose Parts. Now we have the original image split into several objects and animated. We're going to rename this in a sequence real quick. Ok, the final step is to offset these animations. Check it out, we have one track for each image slice. All we have to do is move them to offset their animations. You can move this freehand with your mouse, but the most accurate way is hitting the G key and then typing a number of frames. Let's do 5 for each one of them. And there it is, the grid slide done entirely in Blender. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.